What's up everyone, it's Deltlead, and today we're going to be going over how to use the part shape tool in Juno New Origins. Now, normally when you're editing a fuselage or a fuel tank in the game, you have a couple of options here to change the size. You can grab either of these green triangles and it allows you to change the length. You can grab the orange triangle to change the overall radius of the vehicle or the part. And then you can grab these blue triangles and change the individual radius of the front and back of the fuel tank. But sometimes you want to do a more unique shape than just a cylinder and you're going to want to use the part shape tool. Now this tool gives you a finer degree of control over these fuel tanks or fuselages. Starting with the edges here, we have a width and a depth which can be controlled independently for each face. So I can make the part wider without making it taller uh, and vice versa I can make it narrower or taller however I want to adjust it very conveniently just from here. So for this fuselage for an airplane, let's make it a little narrower and a little taller. We'll do 1.3 and 1.6 and then we'll click on the front face and do the same. 1.3 and 1.6. So now we have a slightly taller, uh, slightly thinner fuselage for our plane. Now we can also change the actual shape using this corner radius tool. So by clicking and dragging this slider here, I can adjust the overall radius each of the corners. At zero it becomes a rectangle, uh, but I can back that down to any uh, combination or anywhere in between basically a circle and a rectangle by adjusting the slider. But I can also do it for individual uh, corners as well, not just the overall. So you see I've got corner one, two, three, and four. Each individually can be adjusted. For this let's go ahead and take it down to 85. Well, we'll do 80% on the front and the back of this main fuselage here. Now, I can also adjust the overall length by grabbing this green uh, arrow here, but I can do more specific adjustments on each of these arrows uh, as well to extend or retract the face uh, a given amount. I can also adjust the overall shape of the part uh, by clicking on these arrows here. You can page between the face, the body, and then the back face of the fuselage. So selecting the uh, body of the fuselage here, I can make it longer or shorter, but I can also uh, change the offset from the front to the back. So if I have an offset on this part, uh, on the x-axis, a one and negative one offset uh, basically slides it from side to side and a z offset uh, slants it from up to down or from down to up like so. We'll leave this part flat, uh, but there are a couple other things we can do. We can change the pinch of the part, which essentially makes it more like a teardrop shape. Uh, and if I take it all the way in, it makes basically this top to be kind of an airfoil shape. Or the slant. Now, bring, bringing this slant slider up actually creates a... Now, by grabbing that slant slider, I've actually rotated the angle of the face for this part, which allows you to make uh, joints like I have here with these two fuselages if you wanted to make a more specific uh, angled joint between two pipes per se. So the slant tool is very useful uh, and allows you to do uh, quite a bit actually with your part. But we'll go ahead and leave those flat for now. Instead we're going to add section. So by hitting this button I clone a new section onto my overall build uh, and then it just like that, I can page through the entire chain of faces in between each part. So let's go up to this guy. I'm going to have it be fully circular, and we'll have it have a length of 0.5. And then I'm going to add our nose cone to the front of that. Now that we've got that all squared away, we can drop our cockpit down on top. And then we'll use the same add section tool to finish the back of the jet. So with the back of the jet, what I want to do is have the fuselage taper up from the bottom so that the top is flat, but the bottom tapers up slowly. And then at the very back, that will be our control surfaces at the rear. So what I'm going to do is grab this bottom arrow and drag it up. And you can see I've got a taper now where the bottom is coming up, but the top is still flat. And then instead of grabbing the arrows for the sides, for the width, I'm just going to adjust it manually, say 0.5. And then we'll add another section, which you can see continues that chain. We'll make this section shorter. 
I'll get rid of the Z offset and we're going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to go back here, grab this bottom section, taper it up, and then make the uh, width narrower right there, like so. So now we have that gentle taper to the back here, which will be where we install our control surfaces on the back of the plane. And then we'll have our engines and everything on the front of the fuselage up here. So that is how you use the part shape tool to edit your builds and basically have more advanced, more complicated shapes on your vehicles. So if you found this video helpful, please let me know in the comments below and give it a like. Uh, which tells me that you're enjoying my content and you want more of this kind of content. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care y'all.